I thought this is a great move by Comcast. It's bold, it's aggressive, and they're going after a very valuable asset that puts them as a big player in the international playing field. And I think one thing that's become perfectly clear to me, if not everybody else, is the media landscape, which was always very US and Hollywood centric, is now really, it's a global business. You've got Netflix global, Amazon with huge global ambitions, and it's not enough to have big market share in the U.S. anymore. Oh, well, by the way, the U.S. regulators aren't going to let you get much bigger if you're one of the traditional carriers, or at least well, that's what we're anticipating. Well, that's one of the brilliant things about the Comcast move. It totally takes all the antitrust issues off the table. That was Murdoch's excuse for not selling the whole package of assets to them. He didn't think the U.S. regulators would approve it. This is... That's off the table. Okay, let me ask you a question. You look at the stock of Comcast, it's down. It, 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 would, it would invariably be down, but there are analysts and investors who have anxiety about this transaction. Um, Craig Moffat was on our show yesterday, and he made the point that the satellite business, in his mind, long term is a lousy business. Because as we've seen over the years now, including what AT&T has now done with DirecTV, that ultimately you need cables uh, or you need to go uh, through, through sort of traditional wireless, but that satellites may not be the way to go. What do you think of that? Well, I think that's looking at it too narrowly. I mean, Sky is a brand and it's a great big distribution platform. The fact that it is currently satellite focused doesn't mean it has to stay that way the entire time. Cable does not seem the future to me. It's it's over the top. It's, you know, direct well, look, to consumer. I would make it's, the argument to you. the internet. I would make the argument to you that the real benefit of the Sky transaction is the effective ability to, to take all the content they have and create an, a larger OTT service. You're starting to see Sky use that OTT service all over Europe and the rest of the world. Absolutely. The it's question a, is, are you paying a little extra for a business that you may not want? Well, I, look, I, I, I'd have to look at the cash flow analysis on that to see if the number really adds up. And could you really create the OTC I, service that yourself without, without owning their, their business? I, I, I think you get a huge advantage when you've got that presence already, the brand name, you've already got the presence. And look, satellites aren't going to go away overnight, just like, you know, the same thing. The cable doesn't go away overnight. You've got a long transition period where they can build the OTT. And by the way, don't forget, they get content with Sky, too. They get those great sports rides, yeah. soccer, Moffitt, even football in Europe. Moffat yesterday's point was that the reason that Comcast sh uh, shares had not rebounded with the overall market from the recent sell-off was because of the worry that they were still interested, that Comcast was still interested in all the assets at 21st Century Fox, and that, they, that, that their original bid had been 15% higher right. to start with, and Fox had, hadn't accepted that. Now, that makes him think that, that it would be a bad thing for Comcast to get all that. I guess because you'd have to borrow money. Comcast would have to borrow money probably to buy all of 21st Century Fox. So do you th well, is that still part of, is that I, still part of it? It's probably still on the table. I mean, we don't Could they know. do it or would AT&T have to get the clearance? To I do think AT&T has to get the clearance. To buy they Time can, Warner they before can Comcast could buy all Absolutely. of it. Do they want all of it, you think? Just to, just to stick it to Disney? They, I don't think they, Comcast likes They're already likes sticking Disney. it to Disney. Yeah, that, that's like another Disney. fascinating thing here. Boy, they that are, is, they, the gloves are off here on both if they sides. were ever on. Not a lot of love. Do you could you imagine a scenario where they own 50% of the business, Disney owns 50% of the business? By the way, that at least leaves Comcast Split with a piece, of, a, a piece of this. They got Hulu. I mean, it keeps so why in the, they, why keeps would in Comcast the game in a meaningful 50%, way. If you, can be, if you can be a majority owner, or, 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 forget it. The majority but, but, owner gets Or even it. just 60%, but then you have these other guys be your partner. Does that make you sense? You mean yet? of Sky or of, of Sky. all the assets? Of Sky. Oh, well, Comcast is going to get it all. I mean, they're going to want it all. And why wouldn't they? I mean, they could live with it. But, you know, you don't want a 40% interest. But th this has been Murdoch's Achilles heel. He can't get the 60%. Right. I mean, he's not going to get it because the British don't want him to have it. They're, they're going to, I, I don't know, I'm not going to say they're going to welcome Comcast with open arms, but compared to Murdoch, he's a very benign owner of these assets. And he doesn't have it, you know, Comcast is not a dominant player in, in UK and European news. And that's a big issue here. So I think, of course, Comcast could get the whole thing and would want the whole thing. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.